Josh Rogers, and you know I love connecting business owners with homeowners. And so I'm here with Justin, and Justin is the owner of the new Grumpies here in St. John's County, and we are so excited to talk to you and to meet you. Yeah, great to meet you. I'm glad to have you guys in here yeah. today. Yeah. We're bringing our team in today, and we're going to be having lunch here and digging in for the first time. So can you help us uh, understand a little bit of what Grumpies is all about and where it started, where it came from? Yeah, sure. So Grumpies is born out of a passion for Southern Americana food. The original Grumpy was actually a retired Navy chef, and so it was a second retirement. Of course, he was kind of grumpy. He was in the Navy on an air-conditioned air boat for, for 20 years. And so his second retirement was to open a restaurant up. After he then moved on and fully retired, the name Grumpy was kept, uh, and the transition was made into Nobody Leaves Grumpy. It's classic Southern American food, served at a high level with great service and really good decor and atmosphere. Wow, and nobody leaves Grumpy. And nobody leaves Grumpy. Oh, I love it. It's really, really important that we always think of our guests even before they come in the restaurant. So one of the things we provide is a coffee cart with our fresh coffee free of charge with cream and sugar. We also have a fruit water beverage cart as well for our guests who are waiting. In addition to the seating out here, we've added extra and additional seating to make sure our guests are comfortable while they're waiting. We also have a covered area, mm. which a lot of the other stores don't have, and we did that on purpose to make sure that our guests were super comfortable while they're out here. But you guys have every detail covered. We try to. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. Cool. Shall we go in and check it out? Sure. Absolutely. So we've met the real brains behind this operation. This is Leah. This is Justin's wife, co-owner of Grumpy's. And so Leah, if someone, when someone comes here, what are the dishes that are the most popular crowd favorites? I think the, the best are the Benedicts, and especially our fried chicken Benedict, which has a spicy hollandaise sauce and little toasted jalapenos on the top. Oh, I love and that. And I got a biscuit instead of an egg English muffin. We have oh. the regular ones as well, but that's my favorite. I'm going to have to take that to go afterwards to take it back home to my wife because Sarah very loves good. Yes. Very good. good. Are there any others that you guys would recommend? Yeah, for lunch, one of our favorites. We're one of the few restaurants that still roasts a 30-pound Thanksgiving turkey every single day. Uh, so we have a turkey plate. When you order it, you get white or dark meat, but it's roasted fresh every single day. And uh, we don't cut corners, and we make sure everything comes out homemade and fresh. I love that. And you guys also did a catering event for us, so that's something that you offer. Sir, yeah. Catering is really picked up in the area, so we offer the ability, we have a special menu just for catering events, uh, and we do offer delivery for that as well at no additional charge. Wow. That way we can bring the Gumpies experience to offices uh, around the area. Well, great job. I love that. At the restaurant, our portions are large. We're very kid-friendly. Uh, we do have a wall where we feature some of our Grumpy's artists, and we offer, also offer outdoor seating as well. Yeah. Uh, that's both heated and uh, offers air, Got so it. that way it's a comfortable experience year-round. I see. Yeah. I see. Right, one other thing that we have, which is Ooh, kind of Let's go over there and show it real yeah. quick. So Grumpy's is traditional Southern Americana, and part of being true to our roots, we have a lot of military, uh, fire, and police customers, and we honor that in the community. One way that we do it is we have a custom-built large flag that features a lot of coins, uh, both from when I was in the service as well as many of our patrons display their coins in there as well. Um, and that's something we're proud of. It's a retired family out of Middleburg, retired military that builds that. And half the coins in there are actually from many of our guests that they feature. And it's a way to connect to our community and honor people who serve in law enforcement, military, police, fire, and rescue. Are there any other local businesses that you would like to recommend for a feature video like this? Sure. Um, there's a Here's lot. St. John's. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a bunch of great businesses that are here opening up. Um, I think one other business that, that might be great is the uh, there's a hard, hardware store, TSC, that just opened right next to us. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really hard to find a lot of good hardware parts. Mm -hmm. uh, Home Depot and Lowe's are really far. So the tractor supply store right next to us is a great hidden nugget that I think you know, if people in the community knew about it that just opened up, uh, makes makes it easy to find hard to reach parts. I know I go there about every two days yeah. trying to find things to keep the restaurant moving. I got it. So whenever it's time to buy him a gift card somewhere, yeah. you buy him a gift card there. That's right. I think our neighbors too, just down the way, uh, Little Voyagers is going to be opening mm -hmm. and they have daycare and school programs for kids Excellent. and it seems like a very good program. Our daughter's going to go there this summer, so we're okay. very excited about that. Wonderful. All right, good. Well, if you guys also have any nominations that you'd like us to feature with local businesses, let us know. Leah, how would you say the community is receiving Grumpy's as the as the launch has happened? 
Oh, it's been very well received. We've been very well received. When we first opened, we did an event with Nice High School and the Y, so we had a lot of people just coming in to try the food. Yeah. But since then, there's not a lot of breakfast options in the area. Great point. So, you know, everybody comes after school, before school, lots of soccer kids. I mean, it's been just everybody. I love it's, that. It's when wonderful. I pulled up, I was thinking, what in the world's going on? The parking lot is packed. Exactly. It's just a great way for Lee and I. You know, we, um, we opened a Grumpy's franchise because it was our family's favorite restaurant. Mm. And one of the things we really loved about it is how connected they were to the community. Mm. And uh, in St. John's, it was a new concept. It's been very well received. And uh, we have a lot of regular customers who look forward to come in for breakfast and lunch every day. Mm -hmm. uh, we love being part of the community and being part of the best part of some people's day. So. Well, we love you guys being part of the community. Thank you so much. So you guys you. make sure that you come in and check out Grumpy's. We'll see you in the next video.